Hello, thank you for the sub. I have reached 25 subs so I can communicate with you. Few days ago I asked about language or videos, content type you want to see, but I didn't get any answer. Luckily enough I got stats of my channel to see most viewers are English speaking, so I decided to make videos in English. In this video I wanted to show you how easily you can swap GPU fans from OG original and loud to your own liking with much less noise and greater performance. Installation is pretty simple. If you have original phones and fan shroud, you can take them out without voiding warranty. You just have to remove six screws in case of this GPU. And this is the MSI RX6800 and detach two RGB headers, two fan headers, gently remove fan shroud and gate the cables of the heatsink. Then repeat it with the fans. In this case it's gonna be 9 screws. To begin the job you will need Vega to 4 pin PWM fan adapter which let you connect the standard fans from the case to the GPU fan header. I got three of those. Next you will need PWM fan splitter that will let you connect two fans under one GPU fan header. If your GPU have two fan headers, you can connect two fans separately with PWM extender cables. Some black wires will also be needed to mount the fans. Zip ties might be good, but not in the way we are going to use this. I have to remove my Fantex fan first. As you can see, most of the fans will be good there. And in case of 140mm fans, you don't need high pressure. A flow type will be just fine and for sure much more quiet. Before even taking the GPU out of the case, check some disassembly video of your GPU to be prepared wiring and fan header type. Asus for example use non-standard 7 pin header for fans, so you need different type of adapter for your fans. That was the original fans. Quiet, isn't it? Now, after removing original fans and fan shroud, you will see the heatsink. It's worth to clean it by this occasion using caned air or a compressor. As you can see, in this GPU I have two fan headers and both were occupied. Note there might be handles for wiring, but if this will not be higher than those you see now, you are also be fine. Here you can see RGB headers and fan headers. Be careful for those when detaching original fans and fan shroud. For a proper wire to hold your fans you have to check distance between the heatsink fins to get proper di diameter of the wire. I got mine measured before on Fantex fan. Wire need to be easily to get between heatsink fins. Start with planning the position of your fans. Make sure to align it with bottom line of heatsink next to the PCI slot and plug in not facing the visible area. Fans don't need to be perfectly flat in line. You have to adapt to wiring handles on the heatsink. Heatsink isn't usually perfectly flat. 
but that won't really matter. You can see how much fans will be going above heatsink. And believe me, there is nothing wrong with this. If you have heatsink fins placed vertically, like most of the cars and this one on the video, you will be benefit from this extending fans. As hot air will gonna be thrown on the top of the case. Now, the wiring. To hold fans properly and secure in this video card, you have to hold fans to the heat pipe and go around fin stack connectors, which are very delicate and easy to damage. I have corrected this after a while. If you don't have any idea how to catch the fan to the heatsink, just use the heatsink frame, like this one here. Leave some loose to be able to lift the fan at one side to wire its other side. You can bend the excess of the wire. Now take some flatheads or clears or just rotate the wire joinings to adjust its pressure and finally place the fans in the right position. You can do it by hand if you have strong fingers. Here I noticed wire didn't hold it at all, so make sure where the wire is entering heatsink and where it live. This is how it looks. Not perfect, not terrible, right? You can see some wires, but on complete build it may not be as visible as glass panel usually have some tint. Everything that is left is connecting all together. Now don't make mistake like me and don't connect fans with individual adapters. It was working with Fantex, but somehow it's not working with Noctua. Use white header, connect adapter, splitter and on the end fans. For some reason only one fan header was showing RPM of fans in driver. And it was the white one. Last step is to catch wires with wires. Remember to not go too wide with wires, as GPU won't sit into PCI slot. That's why on first steps I told you to line fans with heatsink bottom edge. Don't forget to cut off excess of wire and wrap up the joinings inside the fans, screw hubs or heatsink. Overall look might not be the best one out there, but trust me, your ears gonna thank you. PWM signal is dividing by two to each fan, so all ratings on many sensors will show 
50% on the one fan while you set up 30% RPM in your driver settings. In gaming, temperature never reached 65 degree and 50% RPM was the max setting I have seen.